had left uh, our headquarters uh, in Kisita, heading to Nuru Level 4 Hospital to do two main things. One, there was a water pump that had broken down that necessitated uh, repair, but before that, we were to test it using the generator that is in the hospital. But they had challenges with fuel, which would get from town. Uh, two, uh, we were to pick an anesthetic machine with a normal government procedure under borrowing from one facility to another facility that didn't have that machine. So the relevant documents and authorization from the chief officer in the department had been done and communication uh, passed to the uh, issuing facility at Lulu Level 4 Hospital. Um, at about uh, 1 p.m., we left uh, heading to Lulu Hospital and we were received well. The situation was calm until the point where we had uh, completed filling the necessary documents and the machine issued uh, from uh, the relevant folks who had been left uh, in the hospital. Um, after a short while, when the machine was being uh, loaded into the vehicle, a gentleman appeared uh, from nowhere and appeared to be taking a video clip. And we asked him gently what he was doing. And he uh, said that he was taking the video clip uh, to record uh, the work that was being done. So we requested him politely uh, that we were not comfortable with that event. And he retreated. Uh, while retreating, he was seen waving towards the gates uh, where crowd of uh, youths charged towards us, shouting that they wanted to kill the thieves who had come to pick the machine. Uh, remember that uh, communication had been done and authorization had been received from the chief officer who was aware of all this. The SMOH, who is the head of the institution at uh, Nuru Level 4, also was equally uh, informed. So when they charged towards us, uh, they started meeting some of our members, uh, one of whom is actually not here because he got uh, injured and uh, had a mental breakdown from uh, that attack. Yesterday we did a, an official communication to the county and the other relevant authorities to do thorough investigation of that incident. I want to emphasize that as healthcare workers, doctors, nurses, clinicians, we took an oath. Healthcare workers can work anywhere and we work without partiality. So that incident still shocks us. And as we advise the healthcare workers, all of them to withdraw their services, still that position remains until such a time we feel it's secure for them to resume back to work. And we want to categorically uh, say this without fear, that we are aware of the people behind the act that occurred in that facility were well uh, organized and they were organized by the local politicians. Let us not beat around the bush and don't say the truth on what transpired in that place. There is no way the community can organize themselves in such a way to try and prevent a working uh, uh, workforce to do their job and because this was an, a, a normal government procedure and it was well communicated so there is no way we are going to keep quiet and, and not condemn what happened there especially to our local leaders in the 21st century where we have uh, uh, the constitution we have the laws of the land we cannot behave like animals and it is something that we are telling our people and our members who are uh, the healthcare workers all of them that there is nobody who is going to return back to that place until the leadership of the county government, the local leadership and the area MP and all the MCAs in that area, they come together and solve the issue that is there. Meanwhile, that place will remain deserted completely and we mean that.